A long time ago, this guy told me that the bond between man and woman was forever lost. And he was talking about the Adam and Eve story. <clears throat> I've always thought about it. And I know now that the story is based off of me and my wife. And this bond between us is seemingly forever broken here on Earth. It's like we just can't end up with each other. So we have to restore that balance between us. The masculine and feminine balance. Can't There can't be this... This fight for power. Like, I've never wanted to control or dominate a girl that I'm with. Like, I've always just wanted, like, this equal partnership. Like, you're my beautiful goddess. I'm your big, strong god, your man, your real fucking man. That's how things are. I don't expect anything from you. I just want you to be my beautiful wife that loves me. And my mom always told me that there's girls that want guys to hurt over them, be their slaves, uh, Like, just always want to be with them. Like, there's these girls that literally just, like, keep guys in their inbox and friend zone them. Like, there, there are there's just some girls that, like, manipulating people and feeling powerful in, like, this weird, twisted way where it's not even, like, true, like, power. It's like they want to dominate all these men in a non-masculine way. They want to abuse our energy. It's like... Men know, or women know what men want, naturally. But when they become conscious of masculine and feminine energy and how it works, they say to themselves like, hmm, like this guy just wants to give to me. He wants to satisfy me. I can tell him what I want to receive and I want him to give me money and nothing else. And you know what? When, when you love that girl and that girl tells you, hey, <clears throat> if you give me money, it will make me so happy. It will make me so happy. It will make me feel so good. And they tell you, Oh, but you you literally cannot do anything else for me. You can't do anything. You can't talk to me. You can't see me. Nothing. You can just give me money. And it'll make me so happy. The, the person who you love. And then the man says to himself, like, hey, like, I just want to make my woman happy no matter what. Like, I just want to give her everything. And it's just this evil, evil, fucking, disgusting mess. It's just weird, weird control. And my wife's a manipulator. And it's like she cannot handle not being this 100% in control manipulator. Like she totally gets off on the fact that like I love her no matter what. And that she gets to just treat me like shit and step on me. Tell me that she's covered in her boyfriend's cum. Just shit like that such a piece of fucking shit like she does everything to me 
that a woman shouldn't do to a man. She tries to make me feel like I'm not good enough for her. I can't give her what she wants. Just tries destroying me. And I've had girls my whole life that, you know, they try hurting me and cheating on me and stuff, but there's nobody like her. Like I've had girls set me up to get jumped. And then afterwards they block me and don't talk to me for a year. And then a year later they hit me up and they tell me, oh, hey, we're soulmates. I want to get married. I love you. Get my, old, my hopes up again. And then they'll literally block me again for another fucking year. And then I don't hear, hear from them again for that whole year. And then they come back and they do the same shit. Like, oh, hey, I love you so much. And we're, we're soulmates. And, you know, I want you to, to love me and hurt over me again. And I, and I know you're forgetting about me right now because it's been a whole fucking year since I've talk to you last but I want you to remember that you loved me and you were obsessed with me and I want you to be obsessed with me and love me and hurt over me again and then I'm gonna block you and ignore you and then I'm gonna sit with my boyfriend that I want and think about oh hey there's this guy who's always hurting over me he always wants me and he's never gonna get it and that makes me feel good that's what girls do they, they, they feel fucking good knowing that there's these guys hurting over them And I, I read about it all the time online, about these girls they talk about. They're like, oh, I got these fucking army of simps. Army of guys that just fucking want to be with me. But I trick them into staying in this friend zone. Keep them, keeping them expecting something to come out of it, like a relationship. But yeah, I was reading this this post on reddit and this guy was talking about how he chemically castrated himself with these pills so his dick didn't work anymore and this guy who was his wife's boyfriend moved into their house and he slept in his wife's bed blah 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 all that shit ate the food uh the the guy who let the dude move in with his wife fucking sleeps on the couch like literally chemically castrated himself and he like has he like makes money and gives it to his wife and her boyfriend while they live like in the same fucking house like some fucking slave that's that's what's happening to people and it's it's fucking disgusting and I, i've been reading all about it there's all of these girls that just love the idea of this inferior man being this fucking slave for them while they have some other guy who's more capable of satisfying them sexually. It's like so evil and twisted and like some of the things I read just make me want to beat someone up. Like, they just make me feel so fucking, like, like I want to start my army and take over the world in a dominating, evil fucking way, because just the way that women are treating men nowadays, and how, like, there's this brainwash shit going around with that whole fucking, that alpha, beta, cuck, simp shit that they're literally putting in people's fucking brains. Like you, I'm just gonna show you because this is this is a porn video, but it's, there's no, nothing sexual about it at all. It's literally this girl talking to a camera and telling you that you're a fucking loser. You're, you're a fucking loser. And here, let me let me say something. She says in this one video, "You're meant to be alone and die alone." You've been rejected and told no your whole fucking life. You embody beta energy and you manifested this. That's what she says in this. She says that this is this is what you've fucking wanted to be this fucking loser your whole fucking life. And now you're here, you're watching a video of me degrading you and telling you how fucking much of a loser you are. Because you're an inferior male. And 
she's right. I did manifest this because her name is Goddess Venus. She, she's this porn person who fucking uses my wife's name. And she does the same shit in every fucking video that my wife does to me. Like, says stuff like she's covered in her boyfriend's cum or... She, fuck, I'm a fucking loser, or I'm fucking, she'll never be attracted to me, blah, 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 all this shit. And it's so disgusting. Yeah, her name is Goddess Venus. Get on your knees, now. Don't keep me waiting. Too. You are a beta bitch, aren't you? <laughs> you fucking hear that shit? <laughs> oh, man. The only thing I can think about when I saw that was just like how that's literally my wife. That's literally my wife. And her name's Goddess Phoenix, and this lady was saying, like, you manifested this, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, this is just something I had to fucking see. And and she was saying, like, all this shit, like, like, oh, you were always told no your whole life. You were you were always rejected, blah, blah, blah. That's what my wife fucking does. She always tells me no. She rejects me. She ignores me. She blocks me. Tells me I'm a fucking loser. She's covered in her boyfriend's cum, blah, blah, blah. Tries to make me feel like I'm just not a man. She tries dominating me in this non-masculine way. In this way where she's literally like, like I have to be without her. The only way I can make her happy is by giving her money. And while I'm giving her money, she thinks I'm a fucking loser and that makes her even more happy. So the only way I can make her happy is by literally giving her money, letting her treat me like a fucking loser, think I'm a loser, and, and just be this fucking loser. That, that's how my wife has, has made things for me is, is, hey, like, you can be a complete fucking loser for me. Do everything I say. Get down on your knees and tell me that you're a beta bitch. That's literally what she's doing. And I, I've read all about it for, like, hours and hours about all these girls that literally, like, like, they do chemically castrating himself. There's these dudes that literally, they, they stop having sex and they, they let the wife's boyfriend, fuck them. They're just like, oh, I'm not, I can't have sex with my wife anymore. Oh, hey, you can fuck me and make me come. <laughs> like, this is what I've been trying to tell all of you is that there's this problem with the masculine and feminine energy and the woman. The woman, they're always greedy. They want money. They want to use the men. Blah blah blah. I've been saying it in all my fucking videos. And I, I'm literally reading all about it now, how women are, like, sexualizing it. Like, they literally fucking crave and get off on this shit. Like, be my little fucking slave. Get down on your knees and repeat after me. Like, what the fuck? Like, this, this, this fucking chick, using my wife's name and everything, literally... It's like a sign to be like, hey, this is how your wife is right now. Like, this is what she's becoming. Like, the world is making her this woman that wants to just degrade men and make them their fucking slave. Like, that's literally what Dark Horse is. It's showing me that that's my fucking wife. That's my fucking wife. She wants everybody to give her, give her valuable things and bow down to her. And just be, their, be her fucking bitch.
you know, forget the whole, she, she doesn't want me, blah, 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 she's got a boyfriend, blah, 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 it, it does not matter. Like, everything that's going on between me and her does not matter. Like, right now, focusing on this whole Adam and Eve, lack of balance, uh, Lilith wanting to be the dominant one, but she's jealous of the masculine energy, so she uses it against him, blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's not my wife. My wife is beautiful and feminine and loving and caring and she's gentle and adorable. But this world is making her the opposite of herself, like her antichrist self. Like, I'm sorry, it's just, like, it really, like, I think about all those dudes who are literally, like, letting guys move into their fucking house and handing them money while they fuck their wife, and I literally just want to cry. I really want to cry because it's just, like, I think about what's happening to me, and I, I feel so bad, and then, like, it's happening to all these other guys, too, and it's, like, it feels like there's just someone brainwashing all these women into being like this and brainwashing all these men to just fucking accept it. Like like that video I just showed you, she's literally talking into a camera, like brainwashing you to be her bitch fucking slave. It's like, can people just have fucking sex? Can we just have sex? Without being this dark, twisted, weird, I want to turn you into fucking slave bullshit. I love meeting beautiful girls that are feminine. They just want to, like, be normal. I'm not attracted to my wife being this dominating fucking bitch. I'm not. I don't want some fucking bitch for a wife. She got turned into this fucking bitch. It's not her. It's fucking pissing me off. There's, there's so much stuff about this whole Lilith. Feminine, masculine, simp, fucking slave bullshit. I've just been reading all about it and it's like... This is just all I can think of saying for now. It's just like... I can't fucking believe it. It's like... <clears throat> people have, like, all this abuse with their sexual chakra. Or something like that. Like, like never would I ever want to just, like, just think about all this weird slave shit that they're always like pumping into people's brains and shit or like I thought to myself that I wanted my wife to kill me because of abuse because she was abusing me like I literally felt so like so much of a fucking slave loser that I just wanted her to fucking kill me and end my life and it made me feel good like thinking about that like like I could just fucking die and I can be with her and I can make her happy because she hates me so much she just wants to fucking kill me. Yeah, I really miss just spending time with a pretty girl and we have sex. And it's great. And there's, there's no weird feelings. There's, there's no, I don't fucking know. It's like people are so weird. It makes me just feel like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to say right now. It makes me feel like like I'm gonna go around, and I'm gonna see a pretty girl who I want to talk to, 
you know, you know, we start talking and a weekend. She's like, get down your fucking knees. You fucking beta. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> like, I don't know. It, it just seems like all these human have this sexual abuse, like tension. They have these weird kinks that are just like evil and unhealthy. And they think like, oh, this is what makes me horny is this is my kink. Like, no, that's your abuse. It's your fucking abuse. Me being killed by my wife isn't a fucking kink. It's abuse. It's me, like, dead inside just wanting to fucking be killed. Abuse. All these kinks are fucking abuse. Not, not every kink. Like, like, not everything is a kink, but, like, something that's just, like, it doesn't even make any fucking sense. You're just like, how the hell could you be attracted to that? Like, how could you be attracted to the fucking... Someone shooting you in your fucking face. It's abuse. How can, you be, how can you be attracted to being a slave? It's abuse. How can you be attracted to making people your fucking slave? It's fucking abuse. It's not because you're, you're, you're dominant or submissive. It's, it's not because of that. It's because you're a piece of shit. Or you're someone who's been hurt. Stepped on and walked on. My God. Like, can you just fucking believe this goddess Venus chick? Like, her name's Goddess Venus and all that. Like, her name could have been anything. But no, it's Goddess Venus. <laughs> it's like... It's like I did manifest her so that she could just, like, show me. It's like, I don't even know. It was like, she was like showing me like the energy that's like inside my wife right now. It's like this evil Lilith energy. And she's Ma'at, the goddess of balance. I'm the god of equilibrium. We need to have balance. We need to restore the bond between man and woman. Besides the fact that I'm not even with her and she doesn't love me at all. It just it just hurts to think like like my wife is really just thinking so evil and, and weird it's like there's this twisted energy inside of her feels bad like I said I wish I could just see a pretty girl but like oh shit I'd love to have sex with her <laughs> I don't have to look at a girl and just be like oh shit she's gonna be like one of those girls that want me to get down on my knees and fucking repeat after her <laughs> am I gonna have to get on my knees for this girl or am I actually just gonna be able to fuck her <laughs> I just fucking hate it, bro. Like, just, just have sex and quit being fucking weird. Quit being fucking weird. Quit turning men into slaves. Just fuck off. <laughs>